This is a demonstration of how to wire in and also program the 433 module that will convert your Gatecrafters stainless steel keypad into a 433 megahertz keypad. The Gatecrafters stainless steel keypad is built with a 318 megahertz transmitter inside. This is your transmitter antenna. These are the learning dip switches for 318 megahertz and this is the output time for the 318 megahertz. You will not be using these, this feature and this feature because you're doing 433 megahertz. To achieve 433 megahertz, we have to have an adapter that transmits a signal through 433 megahertz. This adapter gets wired into the bottom of the keypad. First thing you want to do is learn the adapter to your Estate Swing 433 megahertz receiver. It's very easy to do. You have two black wires. One of them should be labeled with a plus sign. The blue wire is your antenna. The red and the black go to a 9-volt battery. With the 9-volt battery already attached to the transmitter module and power already applied to the receiver, press the Learn bun one button. The Learn light will come on in the center. Take the two black wires and touch the ends together until the light blinks and turns off. Now this transmitter module is learned to the receiver. If I touch these together, you will hear the receiver click because it received the signal from the transmitter module. Second step is wiring the transmitter module into the keypad. The positive goes on OP. The one that's not marked is your negative, that goes on ground. Once the transmitter module is wired in, you can move the 318 transmitter to off. So we'll use the wired connections at the bottom. Then you can program your keypad. We have another video specifically for programming the keypad if you want to skip these first steps and just get to the programming the keypad. But since we're here, we'll program Press one, two, three, four, the program button. One for adding a code. Zero, one for the slot number for that code. And then your code that you're going to use. Two, six, two, six is the code you want to use. Press the learn button. Now two, six, two, six is programmed in to transmit to the receiver. Please note the one, two, three, four number will never transmit a code. It's for programming purposes only. We recommend not changing it because of that. Two, six, two, six. Hear the receiver click. That's because the receiver was activated by the transmitter module that is wired into the bottom of the keypad. In the future, if you lose which wire is positive and negative, there are two solutions you can do. One is you have a 50-50 chance of getting it right in the keypad. It won't hurt anything to put the positive into the ground on the keypad and the negative into the OP on the keypad. It just won't transmit a signal. So if you wire it in and you lost the tag and it does not transmit a signal, but you know the transmitter is programmed to the receiver and you know the keypad is lighting up properly for a code, so if you know that the transmitter module is learned to the receiver and you know the keypad is programmed and the code is being entered and it should be transmitting a signal and no signal is being sent to the receiver, then you can assume that you have those wires backwards, you can reverse them and then try it and it should work. The other method, if you lose this tag of which one's positive, is if you have a multimeter. We have a multimeter set to DC voltage. The red lead is in here, the black lead is in COM. The red lead should be on positive, the black lead on negative. If you notice, put the red lead on the positive that I know is positive, the black lead on the negative, it says 9.2 volts. However, with our multimeter, if we put it on the opposite way, it shows negative 9.1 volts. So because we have it on backwards and it's showing a negative, we know it's backwards. So then I know the red one needs to be moved over to this to show positive 
and then I will know which way my transmitter module needs to be wired in. This one positive, this one negative.